Hi guys, welcome back to another 360p lesson. This one today is going to be centred around a virtual winter Olympics case. What you need, you need a water bottle like always, a nice space, and then a small ball, a tennis ball's fine, or any other small ball you might have. Or if you don't have that, then a pair of socks or some gloves rolled up into a ball, okay? Got a minute to do that and then we'll get started with the warm up. Okay guys, you've had your break now, so you should have all the things that you need and we're going to get started with our warm up for our virtual Winter Olympics, okay? So how this warm up is going to work, um, we've got our 8 Olympic, uh, Winter Olympic events and we're going to do each for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. This gives you a taster for what the events are going to be when we come to do them for a bit of a longer period of time in the main part of the Olympics, um, so you can get the technique right, okay? So, in... 10 seconds we're going to start with our first winter olympic event which is the bobsleigh okay so remember this is a warm-up we're going to be working for 20 seconds and we're going to have a 10 second rest then get into the next one so you should be sitting down for the bobsleigh and you're going to essentially bring opposite elbow to opposite knee okay we're going to start in five seconds three two one let's go it's just 20 seconds of work okay it's just a warm-up Get that technique right. This is not a race to see how many you can do. It's all about perfecting that technique. Elbow to knee. Trying to replicate the motion that you would do if you were part of a bobsleigh team, okay? Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Perfect. You've got ten second rest. You're going to stand up on your feet now. Make sure you've got your ball or your gloves or your socks rolled up in front of you. And we're going to do ski jumps, okay? So we jump in with two feet over your ball or your gloves, okay? We're gonna start that in five seconds. Three, two, one, and let's go. Okay, just jump in side to side over it. There might come a point where you stand on your, your ball, your gloves, your socks, or it rolls away, that's fine. Just go and pick it up and bring it back. Just trying to perfect this technique before we move on to keep and score, okay? You've got five seconds left. Three, two, one. Perfect, 10 seconds rest, we're moving on to our next activity now, our next Winter Olympic event, which is snowboarding. And to replicate that, the motion that you do on a snowboard, we're gonna do some calf raises, okay? So that's just going up onto your tiptoes, holding it briefly for a second, and coming back down again, nice and simple, okay? We're gonna start that in three, two, one, let's go. Just up onto your tiptoes, hold it for a second, and come back down again. You're not doing one leg at a time, you're doing both legs together, okay? And this is replicating what you would do on a snowboard, okay? Just about five seconds left. Three, two, one, okay, stop there. You've got a 10 second rest again, and we're moving on to our next Winter Olympic event, which is curling, and to do that, we're gonna do some lunges, okay? Really simple, most of you know what a lunge is now. Make sure your knee doesn't go over your toe, make sure your toes pointed forward, keep your core straight. We're gonna start in five seconds, for 20 seconds of lunges. Three, two, one, let's go. That's it, keep your balance. You can drop the opposite arm as you go to help keep your balance, okay? And that is what, that's the motion that you'd be doing in curling anyway, so that's perfect. That's it, make sure you keep your knee Make sure it doesn't go over your toes. Keep your back up nice and straight. Three seconds left. Two, one, and perfect, okay? We're gonna go into squats now, which is replicating the Winter Olympic event of sled dog racing, okay? Because in that event, they'd be squatting down, holding on to the reins. So that's what we're gonna do in five seconds, okay? Just normal body weight squats. Three, two, one, let's go. 
feet shoulder width apart, sink down, put your arms up for balance if you need to, you can put, there's a number of ways you can put them out. Just make sure, again, your knees don't go over your toes. Make sure you sink down, get a nice 90 degree angle. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Okay, stop there, we've got three more, then that's the end of our warm up, okay? The next one is speed skating, okay? So again, you're gonna go back to your gloves or your ball, you're gonna have them on the floor. Instead of jumping over them with two feet this time, it's going over them with one foot. So if you jump with your right foot, you land on your left foot and vice versa. We're going to start in three, two, one, let's go. Just 20 seconds of this. If you jump with your right foot, land on your left foot. If you jump with your left, land on your right. Really simple. Okay, this is replicating speed skating because that's how you try and generate speed in the Winter Olympics, all right? Five seconds left. Three, two, one, perfect, okay? We've got two more exercises. The second to last one, the penultimate one, is figure skating. Okay, so you're going to stand on one leg, just make a movement, so I can make a figure, almost a staff, and then change to the other legs. A little bit of balance work, this one, okay? It's not too difficult. A little bit of balance work. We're going to start in three, two, one, let's go. That's it. Go out as wide as you can. You're trying to balance, that's it, on either leg. Perfect. Really good stuff. Just over 10 seconds left, and then we've got our last activity, and that's the end of the warm up. Five seconds, three, two, one, perfect, okay? Our last exercise part of the warm up is skeleton, and to replicate that, we're gonna do up downs, okay? So you need to get in a plank position, and you'll put your arms flat like you would in a plank, then you're gonna go up and back down again, okay? We're gonna start that in three seconds. Two, one, Remember, it's not a race to see how many you can do. This is a warm up. We're trying to perfect the technique before we get into it properly and we start keeping score. So it's both arms up, both arms flat down. That's one rep. And again, go up with the same arm every time. Perfect. 10 seconds left for this one. And that's the end of the warm up. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, guys. Excellent stuff. You've got a two minute break now. Make sure you bring a pen and a paper, a pen and a piece of paper back for the next section. So we're going to start keeping scores and counting medals. Okay, perfect, guys. Good stuff. Okay guys, we're going to get started with our Winter Olympics now, our virtual Winter Olympics. You've done the exercises in the warm-up. We're now going to do them for 30 seconds. We'll have a short break after each exercise to give you a time to give you some time to go and write down the score that you've got, okay, and check how many reps you need to do to get medals for the next exercise. That might probably be about 30 seconds of that break. 
and then we'll come in and we'll do the next exercise or the next event rather, okay? So there's eight we're gonna do in total. We're gonna start with the bobsleigh, like we did in the warm up, and on screen now for about 10 seconds is how many reps you need to do to get a bronze, silver, and a gold medal. I'm just gonna go and start the timer. Okay, so remember, we're working for 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds on and then a short rest, and we're gonna start in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Remember, this is the bobsleigh, 30 seconds. Opposite, alternating elbow to knee. Each elbow to knee is one rep. Count your score as you go. Count your score as you go. You've had 10 seconds. You've got 20 seconds left. Nice and controlled, but obviously speed is important. Now you want to see how many reps you can get. Each elbow to knee is one point. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left on the bobsleigh, then we're moving on to the next event. Three, two, one. Perfect, stop there. You've got a short break now, a short break. The next event we're going to do is ski jumps, okay? Each jump is worth one point, and you will see on screen now how many reps you need to do to get a gold, silver, and bronze medal in this event, okay? And we're gonna start in roughly five seconds. Remember, each time you jump over that ball is one point. Three, two, one, let's go. So it is about speed now. You might have a little break in the middle to set yourself after each rep, okay? But ideally, this is about speed now and how fast you can do it. Each jump is one point. You've seen the score for how many you do for a gold medal. Can you kind of try and get a gold medal? If you're not on pace for that, can you get a silver medal? You've got five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Perfect, and stop there. Again, you've got a short time now, a short break to go and write your score down, get yourself set for the next activity, the next event, which is snowboarding. So if you remember from the warm up, snowboarding, to replicate that motion you would do on a snowboard, we're gonna do some calf raises, okay? Each calf raise, one point, you will see on the screen now how many calf raises you do, need to do in order to get a bronze, silver, and a gold medal. We're gonna start in five seconds, okay? Double leg calf raise up, hold for a second, down. Three, two, one, let's go. Again, it's about speed, but you need to make sure you do good reps as well. Good reps. I'd far, we'd far rather you do the reps correctly and get an accurate score than just rush them like I'm doing now and because your score will be very inaccurate then because you're not doing the exercise properly, not doing the event properly. You have got about 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and stop there. Excellent stuff, okay, that's our third event down. We've got five more to go. So one more event and we're halfway through. So take this time to go and write your score down. Our next event is curling, okay? Remember we were doing lunges, and then as you go, you were almost bowling, or bowling the, uh, the curling item towards the target, okay? So we're gonna start that in 10 seconds. You'll see on the screen now the score you need to get in order to get a gold, silver, and a bronze medal for curling, okay? Starting in three, two, one, let's go. Each lunge is one point. Each lunge is one point. As you can see, Chloe's got the ball in her hand, replicating that motion. You can hold your uh, gloves or your socks rolled up or your ball in her hand as you do it. What well, you don't have to do that, okay? All the same, you might choose not to do that, which is absolutely fine. 10 seconds left, as long as you're replicating that motion. You might say your score out loud, keep score, okay? Five seconds left, guys. Keep going, get as many reps as you can. Good control reps. Three. Two, one, and stop there. You want to go and write your score down now. We're halfway through. Four events down, done, four to go, okay? Next event is speed skating. You will see on screen now how many reps you need to do in order to get a gold, silver, or bronze medal in speed skating. Remember, speed skating is one leg, and you're hopping over the ball onto the other leg. If you start on your left leg, you're landing on your right leg. If you start on your right leg, Lands on your left leg, okay? Starting in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. 
30 seconds. Each time you land is one point. Say your score out loud as you go, or keep counting in your head. Let's see how many reps you can get in the allotted time. Try and get that gold medal. Just over 15 seconds left. Really good so far, and we've got three events left. 10 seconds left, guys. Keep going, get as many reps as you can. Make sure you have a little pause in between, though. Three, two, one. Excellent stuff, stop there, okay? Stop there. A little rest, go and write your score down. Three events to go. Three events to go, okay? And the next event is gonna be squats for the sled dog racing, okay? So remember, we're replicating that motion of holding onto the, the sled dogs, okay? One of the Winter Olympic events, and we're doing squats. You will see on screen how many points, or how many reps, how many squats you need to do in order to get a bronze, a silver, and a gold medal, okay? We're gonna start in five seconds. Make sure you get nice and deep with your squat. Pause for a second at the bottom, do not rush. Get a good rep. Starting in three, two, one, let's go. Remember your knees do not go over your toes as you squat. Keep your arms out in front of you or you can bend them like that, like we said in the warm up, okay? Doesn't matter what you do. To keep it a bit more specific for this event, try and keep them out in front of you, okay? Because that's what you'd be doing, holding onto the, the leash. Okay, just over 10 seconds left. Just over 10 seconds left on this event. Then we've got two more events afterwards. Okay, three, two, one. Excellent stuff. Have a short break now. Take a wander over to your pen and paper. Write your score down, okay? Two events to go. The next event we're gonna do is figure skating. So if you remember, that's where you're making this motion. You're trying to balance. You must hold it for one second. You will see on screen now how many reps you need to do in order to get the medals again, okay? So, must hold it for one second. Don't just make the shape half-hearted. Go all the way out, hold it for one second, and all the way out again, okay? Starting in three seconds, guys. Starting in two, one, let's go. All the way out and hold it for one second, back down, other side. Really important you hold it for a second, okay? Get that good contraction. We would far rather you took the time to do the reps correctly and have an accurate score at the end, and like I said before, then rush them. Really good stuff. Just over 10 seconds left, and then we've got one more event. How many more reps can you get in in this time? Five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, stop there. Again, take a one over to your pen and paper. Write your score down. We're moving on to our last event which is the skeleton, which we remember we're going to do our up-downs for. So, you'll see on screen now how many points, or how many reps of the up-downs you need to do in order to get a bronze, silver, and a gold medal. Remember, up-down, you start with your arms straight, go down, down, up, up. That is one rep, okay? It's not one rep for down, another one for up, it's a one complete cycle with one rep. We're going to start in five, four, three, Two, one, let's go. 30 seconds, that's it, okay? Arms straight, down, down, up, up, that's one point. Down, down, up, up, say it as you go, or you may say, might say the number of reps that you're doing as you keep going, okay? You've had 15 seconds, you've got 15 seconds to go. This is the last event, this is the last chance for you to build up your score, to try and get a gold medal in this event, but also a gold medal overall, okay? Five seconds, three, Two, one, excellent stuff. Okay, fantastic guys. Go and write your score down in your bit of paper while it's fresh in your head. Uh, when you come back, okay, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna leave the uh, medals, the scores that you need for each event on screen. So if you missed any of, the, any of the events to see what medal you've got, you can do that and you can write next to your score if you've got a gold, silver or a bronze. What you also need to do a little bit of math for you, either in your head or on a calculator, is get your total score. And in on the next slide, you will see in about 20 seconds, we will have the total you'll need for a gold medal, total you'll need for a silver, and total for a bronze. Okay, excellent stuff. Once we've done that, come back for a cool down.
everyone has done as well as they can and they've got at least a bronze, gold or silver medal. We're just now going to go on to a cool down. So we're going to do a few stretches in the space that you have got and then we will be finished for this video, okay? So, first one I want you to do is we're going to touch the floor and then come up and touch the sky. So we're going to do five of them, we're going to do them really slowly, okay? So slowly bend down, keep your legs nice and straight. Try and touch the floor, go as far as you can. Hold it and then we're going to slowly come up and touch the sky. And then we're going to come down, do another one, really slowly. Hold it and then slowly bring it up and stretch up onto your tiptoes, that's two. So come back down, nice and slowly. Just hold it in that position. And then we're going to slowly come up, touch the sky. Two more left, so slowly come back down. See how close to your toes you can get. Up you come. And one more, we're going to come back down nice and slowly. You should nearly be able to touch your toes by this one if you can't already. And then up we come and touch the sky. Right, the next one we're going to do is going to start with some small circles with your arms. Just have them out at the side making little circles. And then we're going to get a little bit bigger. Keep it nice and slow, don't go too fast. And then now can we make really big ones. So going the whole way around. And then now we're going to change direction. So we're going to go backwards with the big ones. And then we're going to get a little bit smaller, nice and slowly, and then we're going to finish with some little ones going backwards. And relax there. Last one, we're just going to have our legs nice and wide apart. We're going to have two hands, and we're just going to slowly go around, touch one foot, walk across, touch the other and then come back up. So we're going to do five of those. So you're going to go down your left leg, touch your left toe, walk across if you can with both hands to your right foot, and then up you come. Make sure your legs are staying straight the whole time, okay? So you're not bending our knees as we're walking across. My legs are staying really straight, and I can feel it down the back of my legs. So we've done two, we've got three more to go. Nice and slowly, come down one leg, walk across with both hands, and then up you come. Last one, you might want to go the other way. And back up. There we go, right, that is the end of our cool down and the end of our video. So, tune in for the next lesson.